Well, um, you know, Hiko uh, sold uh, their masters, um, their catalog to Concord. Um, and, you know, we were signed to Hiko Saint was and, you know, working on this last album with them. And we didn't know that the, the company was being sold until it was too late. We was hearing rumors of it, but it was being denied. And by the time we heard it was being sold, we would, you know, we try to step in to buy our own masters back. We was like, if you guys are going to sell, we would have wished you came to us, you know, Charles, um, um, who seemed to be leading that pact over there, you know, him and L.A. Reed were partners, but they never came to us. Then they said it, it might be too late because I guess an LOI was signed with, with Concord. And then by the time we reached out to Concord to try to buy the masters back, it was, uh, they were saying it's too late because uh, they see um, the advantage of having that in a catalog. And we tried to buy the whole Hitco with another group and it just seemed like it was too late. So um, where we at now, fortunately, we was able to get out of the deal with Concord. And um, now we're, you know, independent, which isn't a bad thing, you know, especially with the, uh, the, the you know, the level of, um, of success that Saints had in the past years. I think probably, um, I would say probably about 30 days before we heard rumors um, till maybe, I guess, paperwork was signed. Again, we were just kind of, we we're being told things Staff didn't seem to know it was up in the air, so they kind of, they kept it quiet, which obviously was fucked up on our part. You know, you got the biggest selling artist on your label, you know, to do that and just leave um, a bad taste in our mouth instead of giving us an opportunity, you know, to try to come in and buy or own something ourselves. They just maybe they thought we couldn't or whatever the case is, but I just thought it, it could have been handled a different way. Obviously, you know, like it's the the music landscape has been changing and independent um, artists has been thriving. So with that, even being with an independent company, I just think that, again, it wasn't on, we weren't having the, the, the best relationships going into that. You know, we was on our last album. Um, but again, the way it was handled with the success we had, it just didn't make any sense to me. Um, whether them doing it as business or doing it because of, a color thing, whatever it is, you know, um, it, it just it, it didn't sit right with us.